Hi folks, this is uh, Stomp K and I'm coming to you with my fourth video editorial. This is um, has to do with chemtrails <clears throat> and this document document I obtained. It's um, actually a microfish. 172 pages that I got from the local university library. We had to do an interlibrary loan to get it, even though when I originally went to find it at the local college library, uh, in the card catalog or in the online catalog, it said said it was there. But when I went to find it in the location, it said it wasn't there. So we had to do an interlibrary loan, and it ended up coming out of the Oklahoma Department of Libraries. Anyways, so the reason I wanted to get this document is because it's uh, from the U.S. Air Force Academy. It's a chemistry manual from the fall of 1990. And, um, of course, the U.S. Air Force Academy is located in Colorado Springs where they train the pilots for the Uf Uf U.S. Air Force. Um, the interesting thing about this document is the title of it. That's the title of it. This is a copy off of the microfish. The t title page. There's U.S. Air Force Chem Chemistry plated document number. And some, there's stamped October of 1990. And um, it's pretty interesting. There's some interesting things inside this. First of all, you gotta gotta ask why would pilots be learning this stuff. I mean, I'm not saying that pilots don't learn a lot of interesting stuff, but some of these things kind of um, just speak out to me. There's, for example, one of the lab, they, go, they do a bunch of laboratories, and each laboratory has point, a certain amount of points for it, and they do an acid rain laboratory. Right. Acid rain laboratory. Got it underlined. These are all laboratories, yeah. I'm not a scientist, so it took me quite a bit of research just to understand some of this stuff. And some of it seems to be tied with photography and stuff like that, which would make sense if you're, you know, a pilot. But why would you have to be learning about acid rain? I mean, uh, weather patterns maybe? I don't know. You know, but anyway, so it goes on and then it starts... Uh, getting into the chemicals that they are going to study in this lab and and um, the chemicals are like all the chemicals that are used in weather modification and uh, can be associated with harp and all that stuff there's there's lithium ion sodium ion beryllium all these ions um, aluminum three iron two here, I'll let you look for yourselves. These are just some of them. And that's not, I mean, totally unusual that you would be studying all these things in a chemistry lab entitled Chemtrails for Pilots. And here's another page of them. All the iodides. Most people know that silver iodide is what they use for uh, cloud seeding. But it's also what they use in photography. So anyways, it gets into all kinds of stuff in here. Um, and then uh, compounds from single valence metals. Uh, some of the, these are they're studying these. Barium fluoride. Where have we heard that before? And on and on and on. I mean, it's all real um, technical stuff. But a lot of people that have been studying these chemtrails will recognize a lot of these um, compounds and stuff. Like uh, we we've all been hearing perchlorite, perchlorate in the uh, news lately. Yeah, here you got it. 
nickel perchlorate. You know the rocket fuel stuff, aluminum hydride. Phosphorus trifluoride, where have we heard that before? Oh yeah, it's in our drinking water. And then you can go, it goes on and on. Hydrochloric acid, cyanide, okay, and then um, here they're studying the Lewis structures. Peroxides, superoxides, fluorines. I mean, what? Why is there military pilots studying this stuff? I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I mean, how many pilots are going to be in the manufacturing end of the aircraft? Not many. Not People who go to the U U.S. Air Force Academy are trained to be pilots, basically. Now, some of them will be support and stuff like that, but the people that build the aircraft are, are civilians, first of all. So... There, the reasons for learning all these chemicals is kind of beyond me. But, you know, what are they mixing up with over there? Some of this stuff is cyanide. It's just crazy, you know? And so you got to ask yourself, where are tax dollars going? Why are we paying tax dollars for these people to be screwing with all these chemicals to kill other people? Does it make any sense? Because it doesn't make any sense to me anymore. You know, it's one thing to uh, defend yourself against attacks and stuff, but we're over here in other people's uh, faces. Tell them how to live, what you got to do. You got to have democracy. You got to, your people got to be free, even though our people are being treated the same way the people in Egypt are being treated. And they're spraying these chemtrails. And it's making people sick. Stroke is up in young kids. Uh, obesity is from the thyroid problems that we're having from all these chemicals. The trees are dying. The bees are dying. The fish are dying. The birds are dying. Um, and if anybody can't see that it's from this shit that they're spraying in the skies, I feel sorry for you. Here, I got the ding. It wasn't the conspiracy theorists that came up with the term chemtrails was the U.S. Air Force. So anybody that wants to say, oh, those are persistent contrails, come talk to me, okay? I'd like to have a word with you.